Hi, I'm Katie, Carthook's Head of Business Development. Carthook Post Purchase Offers makes it easy to deliver real one-click offers between the Shopify checkout and thank you page, and our customers have been seeing great results. On average, they're boosting their revenue by 10% and their AOV with a 15% acceptance rate on our offers. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up Carthook's Post Purchase Offers app on your Shopify store so you can start boosting your AOV quickly. Before I jump into the demo, I wanted to share a few key features on why you should use post-purchase offers. First, you can deliver upsells in the native Shopify checkout funnel. Customers can accept those offers with just one click. There's no need for them to re-enter payment or shipping info. We have a no-code design editor, so many merchants are up and running the same day as install. A quick win. You can also create highly customized offers based on what your customers just bought with sophisticated display criteria options around collections and order values. You can also easily design your offers to match your brand. We work with ShopPay and PayPal Express, two of the most highly converting payment processors out there. And we have very competitive pricing that's really set up for at least a hundred time ROI when using our app. Our pricing starts at just $50 per month. So before I jump into the demo, I wanted to mention that you can find Carthook Post Purchase Offers in the Shopify App Store. We offer a free 14-day trial, so it's super easy to test Post Purchase Offers completely risk-free in your store. So once you download the free trial, you'll want to make sure that you enable Carthook Post Purchase Offers in your Shopify checkout settings. Um, and I can show you where that is. You'll just go to your settings and your checkout settings and scroll towards the bottom of the page. And then you'll see that you'll just enable your post purchase page here. Once you've done that, you can then click into the app section of your store and you'll find cart hook post purchase offers. And you'll be taken to the main funnels homepage. So your funnels page is where you'll create and manage all of your different post purchase funnels. And you can really create an unlimited number of these. There's no limit to how many you can create. So I'm gonna create a brand new funnel today just so you can see how quick and easy it is to get set up. And you can see that this funnel is currently inactive. So nothing will start triggering until you want it to. So I'm just gonna call this our plant food test funnel. I always recommend naming it something really recognizable. And the first thing that you'll do is set your display criteria rules. So this is how and when a post purchase offer will trigger for your customer. And we have a lot of different options here. So you can trigger your offers based off of cart contents. And then within cart contents, you can trigger off of the product or the variant level. You can trigger off of collections or even product tags. We also have rules around order value. So if the customer's cart is less than or greater than, a lot of different options here. And then you can also trigger off of cart item count. You know, maybe if they have just one item in their cart or more than three, you can trigger offers. So I'm going to set our rules today around cart contents. So I'm going to say if the customer's cart contains any products, and I'm going to use the collection option, we'll pull over all of your collections from your Shopify settings. So I'm going to say if the customer's cart contains any product from the plant collection. And the cool thing is you can mix and match any of these rules. So I'm going to actually get to add a second rule that says if the customer's cart does not contain any products in our plant accessories collection. That's when I want to trigger my offer. So I've set my display criteria rules, and now I can go in and manage my actual offer page itself. And you'll see here, we'll pull over all of your products from your Shopify store. Now I'm going to select our plant food product. You can also tie your post-purchase offer to the variant level if you'd like. In this case, you can see we have a large and small size of the plant food, and maybe we have a lot of excess stock of the large. So I'm going to pre-select that for the customer. If you didn't select this box, then the customer could choose which variant they'd like. And now I'll manage my offer settings and design. So you can choose to hide the offer if that product was in their initial order. You can add a discount if you'd like. I typically recommend adding some type of discount here since this is a really special offer that's only being shown to customers after they check out. You can also limit the quantity. So maybe you don't want the customer to be able to purchase you know, more than three of the items at that price. And you can also add flat rate shipping if you'd like. And then from there, you can design the look and feel of your offer page. 
Something that's very cool about our Shopify integration is that we'll actually auto pull in design elements that you've already set up in your Shopify checkout settings. So things like your header and footer formatting, button formatting, colors, backgrounds, we'll just auto pull over. So it makes everything look really seamless with the rest of your checkout funnel. And then if you wanna change certain elements, add or remove elements, you simply just click into the element to make tweaks. You know, I usually recommend adding a custom headline here. You can also, you know, like I mentioned, add sections. So maybe you want to add a second set of offer buttons. You can also upload custom images here. We'll pull over images from your image gallery in Shopify, but you can also add in custom images here as well if you'd like. You can also optimize for mobile or desktop. We'll also pull over, um, you have multiple languages set up. You can also translate your pages. And you can also add up to two post-purchase offer pages between your Shopify checkout page and your thank you page. So if you want to add a second offer page, you can also add an accept decline logic here. So say, for example, the customer accepts the plant food. Maybe you want to show, let's say, our vertical garden product. But if the customer declines the plant food, then maybe we want to show a slightly lower value item like our woven hanger. The cool thing with our editor as well is that you can copy your both your funnels and your offers. So if you've already set up a funnel or an offer that you really like, you can simply just copy it and make some tweaks. So that will allow you to set up your offers very quickly. And from there, you'll simply just save your offer. And then once you're ready to start testing, you can make your funnel active. You can also preview it. And you can also manage the priority of your funnel. So you can see here, we have a number of different funnels set up. Um, say the customer has several items in their cart that meet different funnel criteria. They would simply see the funnel that you've set as the highest priority. All right, so that's basically it. We're setting up a post-purchase funnel. I'm now going to pop over to our test store so you can see what this looks like for your customers. So important to note that we are basically compatible with any type of Shopify plan, including Shopify Plus. You can also have customizations enabled on your checkout. Um, you know, really shouldn't have to change anything with how your checkout is set up. And we're compatible with basically any credit card processor that Shopify supports along with wallet options like ShopPay and PayPal. And so important to know, another reason why we really like a post-purchase offer is that we don't get in the way of your checkout conversions. So when the customer is checking out, you know, they're not seeing a lot of pop-ups here. You're not confusing the customer before, you know, they get to that, um, that checkout or affecting any of your conversions here. And when they hit this pay now button, Shopify captures this order immediately. So you're never at risk of losing out on that initial order. And this is where they'll see your post-purchase page. What we are doing is we're actually just taking advantage of Shopify's edit order functionality. So if the customer accepts this item, we're simply just bundling it together with this original Shopify order ID. Before I accept the offer, I actually wanted to show you what this order looks like in your Shopify settings. I get a lot of questions around how this affects fulfillment, for example. So what Shopify has done is they have added a new fulfillment tag called on hold. So you can see this is the order we just placed and it is listed as on hold right now because we're still in the middle of the checkout funnel. I'm going to go ahead and hit the buy now button. You can see here that we're pulling over some of those design elements from our checkout settings, like the background colors, button formatting. Um, within our cart hook editor, you know, we changed the text, added some emojis, added a custom image, our testimonial. So I'm going to go ahead and accept this offer. And I'll be taken right into the Shopify checkout page. And you can see here that we simply bundled that item with the original Shopify order ID. The item was just simply added on. And when you go back to your Shopify orders, I'll click into the order so you can check it out. Shopify will automatically move this order now to the unfulfilled status. There are some edge cases where a customer, maybe they click out of the sequence or never hit the thank you page. 
In that case, Shopify would just release this hold after 60 minutes automatically. All of your emails are still triggered as normal through Shopify. We'll add a little tag to any orders that have a post-purchase item added, and all of your order management will still occur via Shopify as well. So that's basically it for the customer perspective. I really appreciate you all watching today. If you have any questions, please reach out to our team at support at carthook.com. And please feel free to try Carthook post-purchase offers through our 14-day free trial at carthook.com. Thanks again.